The White House says that they want Congress to pass a clean debt ceiling increase. <coughs> um, no negotiations with Republicans at all. Is that a mistake? Corrupt Democratic Senator Joe Manchin says that it is a mistake to avoid negotiating with Republicans on a must pass debt ceiling bill that really they are gonna vote in favor of raising the debt ceiling because he thinks you know we, we really should take a look at Social Security and Medicare, some of the spending, there are some issues there. So in other words, he wants to aid and abet Republicans in gutting Social Security. And today, the New York Times came out with a report explaining what his tactic will be. He says this, we're going to have to bring a group of Democrats together that is willing to work and meet Kevin McCarthy halfway, meaning House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. So look, I think that that statement alone is so telling, Jank, because it ain't just about Manchin. It's about the corporate capture of the Democratic Party and how it's not just a handful of Democrats who are willing to gut social spending programs. There's a bunch of them in the Senate alone, and he wants to get them together. And he's like, you know what? We already got a coalition working in the House. So I want to I want to build that in the Senate too, because both parties want to gut your Social Security and Medicare. That's the reality of the situation. All right, so look, there are things that are super obvious, but we have to state them as if they're dramatic news because a lot of the establishment in this country, mainstream folks, good folks, a lot of them, got brainwashed by establishment media. So they believe things that are remotely true, that are hilariously false. So in this case, all these senators take literally millions of dollars from donors. The donors have very specific requests. In fact, when Trump got into office, this is in my book, uh, there's quotes from donors saying, you better pass tax cuts, otherwise we're going to stop donating to you. That is a quid pro quo. They're saying, this is exactly what we want. We want, we gave you a couple of million dollars, now we want a couple of billion dollars back. Or in that case, the tax cuts were a couple of trillion dollars back. And they say it out loud in public, they're quoted in the press, yep. okay? So they want redistribution of wealth to the very top, and they literally paid for it. and. A lot of mainstream media will, almost all of it will completely ignore that fact. But if they ever touch it at all, they will never mention Democrats. So now wait a minute, I hate Republicans and I don't want a Republican like Trump to win. But I'm being honest with you guys, the media loves conservative Democrats, okay. loves them. And so when they see Joe Manchin, they won't tell you the obvious truth. That guy takes bribes for a living, so when he is told to redistribute wealth, it's not just tax cuts. They need the money from somewhere. Otherwise, the country's gonna go, the government's gonna go broke. So they're gonna take it from you. Yep. So they're coming to take your Social Security and Medicare. And what did they get called in return for that? It could be instead of being called the monsters and, and crooks that they are, the media tells you they are moderate. Well, that sounds so reasonable, doesn't it? Okay. Well, here's moderate Joe Manchin looking to rob you of all the money you worked for your whole life. What a moderate position. There is no reason for Democrats to negotiate with Republicans on raising the debt ceiling. No reason at all. None. You wanna know why? Because it's a must pass bill. If they don't raise the debt ceiling, the global economy and their stock portfolios collapse. They don't want that, okay? And so even Manchin himself in the context of that New York Times piece says, I think we all know we're going to vote for the debt ceiling. Okay, all right, great. then why are you negotiating? Because he wants to cut spending that actually benefits the American people. And what's so gross is how he lies to our faces, he insults us. So same interview, I wanna go back uh, to his conversation with Dana Bash because Social Security and Medicare came up and look at how he lies and I'll tell you why he lies. I'll, I'll provide the receipts to prove that he's lying, let's watch. In my state of West Virginia, 60% of the people that are retired right now live with Social Security and Medicare. To scare the bejesus out of them thinking they're gonna be, their cuts on the line or you're gonna you know, decimate those two, that's not gonna happen. Take that off the board right now and look at ways that we have wasteful spending that we can be held accountable and responsible. He wants to cut Social Security and Medicare. He doesn't say it there because he's like, oh, the, the people of West Virginia, same people who would have benefited from a minimum wage hike, same people who would have benefited from the social spending provisions within the Build Back Better agenda that were defeated by Joe Manchin, okay? 
He, he claims that he cares about them and they, they want to maintain their social security. Except just a few weeks ago, in a conversation with Maria Bartiromo on Fox Business, he was pretty transparent on what he wants to cut. Let's watch. Let's take our trust, the trust funds, whether it's Medicare, Social Security, or Highway Trust. You can't let those go defunct as far as, and, and what we're saying is we have a trust act. And we would put different committees, bipartisan, bicameral committees together to look at each one of the trust and come up with solutions of how you fix it. We're not getting rid of anything, and you can't scare the bejesus out of people saying, we're going to get rid of Social Security, we're going to privatize. That's not going to happen. But we should be able to solidify it so the people that have worked and earned it know they're going to get it. So something I want you guys to be aware of and pay close attention to because it's gonna be a talking point. I've already seen Republicans do it and now Manchin's doing the same thing, okay? They try to pretend like no, 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 no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna cut Social Security and Medicare. We're not gonna privatize it. We're just gonna do things like raise the retirement age, which by the way is cutting Social Security, okay? It is putting off your retirement because they want to cut social security and avoid raising taxes. Right now, the wealthy don't pay the same percentage in social security tax as you do, okay? After a certain amount of income, they stop getting taxed for social security altogether. You know what you could do if you're really worried about funding the social security program? Lift that tax cap entirely. It only benefits the rich, and the rich are terrified of that happening, which is why the rich lobby Politicians like Joe Manchin and members of the GOP to get the retirement age up even higher. Right now it's 67, they want it up to 70. That is a form of cutting social security. Don't let them lie to you. The minute you hear we're looking to strengthen social security or fix it, those are code words for cut it. Now, you say, well, Cenk, how do I know to trust you? I mean, you say one thing, I just saw Manchin say another thing, that he's looking to fix Social Security. That sounds like he maybe he might add to it. Well, there's a thing called facts. They have to actually write bills and proposals, and they have to put them forward. And the proposals he's talking about is to raise the retirement age. And when they you do that, so let's take one year, right? Hey, the retirement age is 67 now, they move it to 68. You know what happens in that extra year? you do not get the money that you would have normally gotten. That is tens of thousands of dollars. When they move it to 70 as their proposals are, you're go you might miss out on, yeah, it depends on your situation. But 50,000 or more, they're literally stealing from you. Yep. That is money you put in your whole working life. It's not their money. It's called an entitlement because you are literally entitled to it because you put it in through your taxes. Now Joe Manchin says, I want to rob you. I want to take that $50,000 and put it in the donor's pockets. And every son of a bitch reporter goes, he's a moderate. He's looking to strengthen Social Security. By the way, there is a proposal to actually strengthen Social Security by adding to it. It's a proposal that Anna told you about, it's being pushed by Bernie Sanders. They're saying, hey, you know what? If you actually allow the rich to get taxed on Social Security further, It'll solve and we don't have to lower the retirement age, we don't have to cut, we don't have to do any of that stuff. In fact, we can add to it. And good news, they polled it. And you know what the polling indicates? Over 70% of Americans are in favor of that proposal, even what is clarified to them that it would raise taxes on the rich. They say, yes, I want it, more than seven out of 10 Americans. It has a 0% chance of passing. Do you wanna know why? Because almost all of our politicians are corrupt. They all take bribes and the media is paid to trick you and to lie to you into pretending that they're not taking bribes and that they're not redistributing your money to the richest people in the country. Final thing, Manchin, much like members of the Republican Party, keep claiming that they're just, they're so concerned with out of control spending. And you know what? Me too. Me too. I am concerned about out of control spending. I mean, we could look at our defense spending, which wastes a lot of money on all types of military weaponry. In some cases, military weaponry that doesn't even work. Okay, we've spent millions, if not billions on that. But okay, let's, if they're worried about that because of national security concerns, which I'm not buying for a second, why don't we take a look at other ways that the government wastes money? The Environmental and Energy Study Institute reported that direct subsidies to the fossil fuel industry totaled 20 billion per year with 80% going toward oil and gas. 
Which is weird because Chevron reported $72 billion in 2022 profits. Do they really need those subsidies? No, 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 guys, this is not <laughs> negotiable. I you know. understand what they're doing? And it's not theoretical, it's happening right now. They're taking $20 billion of our money. You work so hard and then you pay those taxes and it's really painful. Remember, the rich pay almost no taxes, some of them, not all of them. But the, the reason why Biden, a rare good move that he did, we increased money for the IRS to do audits of the rich is because some, the, the, above 10 million, it's like 0.01% get audited. I don't have the facts right in front of me, but we did the story before. It is comical. They purposely cheat on their taxes because they know they can get away with it. You have to pay it. You have to pay those subsidies to the richest companies in the world. $72 billion in profit in one year is unheard of. For one oil company. For one oil company. And you had to pay higher gas prices. They took all the money home and they said, now, add insult to injury, give me 20 billion more from the average man. Yeah. And Sons of bitches like Joe Manchin help them rob you blind like that. Yep. And sons of bitches in mainstream media go, no, he's not robbing you. No, those are not bribes. No, they're not crooks. No, they're moderates. This is the moderate reasonable position to rob you blind. No, I've had it with mainstream media. I know most of them are totally clueless and they don't know anything about politics or news. Go get a different job. I'm begging you to go get a different job. I'm sick of your corruption. Stop robbing Americans. That's what you do every day. And the media is the getaway driver to that robbery.